now we'll jump into uh, an overview of the AIT data loader uh, solution. So I have here just kind of a high level diagram of the, the software development kit for ARIC 615A that we provide here at AIT. So basically we provide three mechanisms for accessing the, the 615A operations. Uh, one, we provide our flight simulizer GUI. So this is just a standard Windows application. Uh, that can be used for point-and-click data load operations to do information, uploads, finds, those sort of things in kind of your standard Windows um, type of setting. For batched and repetitive uh, operations, we also provide access to all the 615A operations in a command line. So uh, from a command line you could write a DOS batch file or on Linux um, some kind of a shell script to sequence together multiple operations that you repeat over and over again and run them from a, a command line or a shell. Um, if a customer would have the need to have some kind of a customized uh, data load, we provide a high-level API to do the 615A operations, and we provide uh, samples, documentation, and import libraries, everything that you need to develop your own application to actually use that API for custom data loader type of situations. Um, all of the, the data loader development kit software is provided and supported on both Windows platforms and on Linux. so. Uh, you can kind of choose your platform there. Um, and it also utilizes a, a, a nice, well-defined configuration file format um, to define all of the protocol specifics. Um, so there's a lot of options with TFTP and the 615A protocol that are configurable. And so um, all of these uh, mechanisms for using the protocol can import and use the same configuration data. And that data can be stored and edited um, in an, a, a well-defined XML format. Uh, it can also be edited and updated and saved and, and edited from the GUI application. Uh, but we, we also define it in, a, a, again, a well-defined and documented format um, to support the case where maybe a, a customer or aircraft application wanted to automatically generate that configuration data from an aircraft ICD, for instance. Um, <clears throat> the AIT Data Loader Development Kit also um, supports loads over both standard Ethernet uh, LAN and over the ARIC 664 network. So um, that's kind of what the picture is showing here. So if the Ethernet LAN, um, the, the, our data loader solution is, you can think of it as purely a software solution. Software you can install on a desktop or a notebook uh, that has a LAN interface and basically run it from that with no additional hardware. For 664 operations, um, the data loader software needs to be used in conjunction with one of our AFDX Airing 664 interface boards that you'd have to install, say, in a desktop PC um, to interface the AFDX network.